So, um, you know, I was listening to Greg sharing before and talking about the fact that uh, we don't have existing guidelines, but I know that anybody that um, does PR and works with H&I, they have to, PR is actually the first um, line of communication with any of these facilities and writing emails and so forth. So this is just a template. Anybody can modify it. Um, it's been sent out and so forth. So ultimately, it's just um, stating the purpose to, to introduce an initiative of bringing in virtual meetings, um, as you can read in this paragraph. So the purpose of this letter is to introduce a program initiative to make H&I presentations available through the Zoom web conferencing platform. Now, obviously people could substitute that with blue jeans or whatever they want to do. Um, so the first thing is to set an appointment up uh, with the people in the facility and to visit, you know, either set the appointment up through virtually and to have a PR chair, the H&I chair and the panel leader that's going to bring the presentation in on the interview with the director of the facilities to explain how this is going to happen. So um, we would like to set up an appointment to discuss and demonstrate how a designated panel leader or a person from your staff can seamlessly set up this technology through the use of an iPad or a computer linked to a common room TV monitor. So those are a couple of choices there. So very simply, an NA panel leader with an iPad can conduct the H&I presentation virtually by connecting to a designated meeting ID and a live NA meeting. So um, ultimately uh, when uh, the Finger Lakes area of New York PR uh, chairperson was bringing in uh, meetings into a facility there. Um, the meeting that Shane was setting up live, um, it was a hybrid meeting. There was a live meeting going on in a NA room, and then we were on the meeting, and then speakers were brought in. It was mostly the H&I format, where there were two speakers, a male speaker, a female speaker. They spoke and then the floor was open and people in the facility could ask questions. And then there was like some sharing kind of modeled. So um, this is, you know, the short of it. I mean, people can certainly read this. I just wanted to make sure people had kind of like a starting jumping off point. And anybody that's experienced PR people, you guys can just figure that out. I just wanted to make a template available. 